Hi, welcome to another video on the T8. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about some of the optimization options in the editor. Now, when going into the editor, I typically do not have a design here on screen because I need to choose my design to edit. In order to get to the editor, we will go to the editor button, which is L5 here. And I will go ahead and click on L5. I do need to choose the design that I would like to edit. And in this case, going through the optimization options uh, and setting stops and things like that is typically done with the DST file that I've previously brought in. I would like to see my design, so I am going to go ahead and click the Picto. And here I will scroll over and choose the design that I would like to change. Um, here you can see it's got a red, uh, a red frame around it. Actually, I'm going to choose this one here. It's got a red frame around it. I'll go ahead and choose select design and we will go on the right hand side here and this button is edit design. I'll go ahead and hit R4 and we will then hit the optimize button. In the optimize button this may look familiar to you because when you load a design sometimes you will go ahead and get the optimize options. Optimize with user defined values, no optimizations or optimization with default values. Typically, the optimization with default values you will do with a transport code file or a Z00 or ZOO file. Um, optimize with user defined values is typically what we do with a um, DST file. So I would like to change the needle stops in here than what I had before. So I'll go ahead and click on optimize with user defined values. And here I will hit preset stop functions. In the preset stop functions, I can see all the different stops I have or the color changes for the DST file. Um, I will go ahead and hit design part so I can see what is the starting needle. I see that this, this fill right here and that I would like to program in as number two. It will automatically advance to the next stop, which is the shading. I would like to program that as number four and then I can keep going with this. So it advances and every time it advances with the um, showing the uh, design parts, it's going to show you which stop is which. Let's say I also want this to be two. I'll go ahead and hit two there. And then keep going with my numbers as the design that I want. Once I am finished with that, I will go ahead and accept my stop table. I am happy with those settings. I'll go ahead and optimize with those set values. Now I am back to my edit design screen. I will go and hit previous. Those are the settings that I wanted to change. I will hit exit. I can continue editing. I forgot, hey, I need to go back in to another menu. I can always hit continue editing design. But this time I want to go ahead and save it as a new version. Free design number, we'll put it in a new slot in that controller as far as the number slot. New version will give it a new version name, such as Z01, Z02, Z03, so on and so forth. I will give it a new design version, and I will store that design. I can also give it a new name if I want. Um, I'll hit sort, store design. Once I store that design, it's now in my memory as an, another version of that design. So thanks for watching, and please watch our other videos on the T8 editor.